recently installed a set of the CJ Classics four-wheel disc brake conversion on Project Betty. For today's installation, we're going to stick under the car and finally start on the suspension. But before we get too much into the suspension of the vehicle, the first thing to do is stiffen up the chassis with a set of CJ Classics subframe connectors. So, Brennan, explain to people, why would you want to put subframe connections on your Classic Mustang? So, the big thing about Classic Mustangs is the frame is really not that strong. It's very thin sheet metal. And the best thing to do is put these pieces on. It connects all the body together and strengthens the frame, actually giving a full frame route to the vehicle. So, what this is basically going to do is take your front subframe and your rear subframe and bolt them together and make it a lot stronger. Now, these are from CJ Classics. It's actually a new product for us here. I'm pretty excited about the design. Now, how are these going to mount to the frame? So, what they're going to do is mount on the front of the frame with two bolts. In the back, when you take out the front leaf spring, you bolt it right in, and that's it. Now, we also sell bolted ones or also uh, welded ones for these. Now, something like this, uh, you could bolt it in, and I guess you could weld it if you okay. wanted to as you're done. But the Bolton makes it something you could do at home. You know, we're trying to keep this car kind of things that you can accomplish in your garage. We know a lot of you guys well, but a lot of you probably don't, which is why we're going to focus on the Bolton ones today. These CJ Classic subframe connectors are sold as a pair and include all necessary hardware for installation. They're going to come in a black powder coat finish. I do want to point out the ones we're installing are pre-production units that are painted, but all the production pieces come with a black powder coat. Uh, let's get started with the installation. Yeah. A couple things I want to mention about the mount of these. In the rear, they're going to mount using leaf spring bolts, which are included. The issue you might run into when your classic Mustang is oftentimes the original leaf spring bolts are very, very difficult to get out because the sleeve actually rusts the bolt, which is actually what happened here. So we've already cut our leaf spring out. We're just going to show you how these bolt in place because obviously we're going to replace the leaf springs at a later date. So basically, this is going to go through the subframe connector and then right through the factory leaf spring mounting location. Like I said, the hardware is included along with nuts and lock washers. It makes an easy bolt on the rear suspension. What we're going to do now is actually tighten down that rear bolt, which will hold the subframe connector in place, and then we can figure out where the front's going to sit and drill our holes. And the front here is going to sandwich the floor supports the extension from the frame rail. It's going to get up in place, smack with a mallet if you need to. In our case, it actually went right up into place. And then drill it out with a 3 8 bolt. There you go. with the whole drill and grab a supply of hardware. Leave that loose for now until we drill our second hole. After you tighten everything up, obviously you repeat the process on the other side. But the CJ Classic subframe connectors are pretty easy to install. And again, they're a bolt on so you can do them at home. Again, a reminder that, that rear bolt will be a leaf spring bolt. So if your leaf springs have been in the car for a long time, prepare for the fact that you may have to actually cut them off and possibly replace your leaf springs, which would be a perfect time to do it. 